Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, it's me Wayne again. Like and subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. Good morning everybody, it's me Wayne again. It's Friday, August 26, 2021. And as usual, I'm on my way to work. Doing this one in the morning again. The lighting's not the best, but we'll deal with it. Now remember, before we get started, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. Helps a lot more than people realize. And if you're already a member, welcome back. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me and the future of this channel and all the hard work I put into it. And it means a lot too if you subscribe to my channel. Some little algorithm that YouTube has. Also, ring that little bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I produce something new. And leave a comment below. I like to hear from my community. I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep you today. But I've discovered something new. Something I'm surprised I haven't heard of before. And it's real hard to find any information on it too. A little thing called Widow's Fire. Yes, I've suffered from it. My ex-girlfriend suffered from it too. I think that's where everything went to crap. It's the burning urge to be intimate with somebody and then feeling like total crap about it. It drives a lot of people to do things they don't want to do. I think that's where my girlfriend, yeah, whenever intimacy was involved, oh, she was all into that, but then things would wane beyond that. I think that's what was the problem. But I suffered from it back when I first started trying to date. That's why I tried to start trying to date. I was longing for that intimacy. A burning desire, as it says. But then you feel like crap afterwards. That's what with the first girl I, I uh, had relations with. Yeah, I broke down. I had a severe breakdown afterwards. Which is... Yeah. You feel guilty. After you, if you... Succumb to Widow's Fire, you feel really guilty. Like, are you cheating on your late spouse and whatnot? Technically, no. Because they're gone. It's just something in your head. I hate to say it, but it's true. Remember, I'm not a psychologist. I'm just going off experiences. But this weekend, I'm supposed to go to a memorial thing for a guy, the guy I talked about before. His wife passed away a couple weeks ago. Some kind of memorial thing. I don't know how I'll handle it for multiple reasons, my social anxieties, and because the matter of the situation. after death is not fun. Like I said, that the full net title of these vlogs is their life after death, a widower's journey. I just use it, it's me waning in moniker to, for a, a similar title. Thought about making that to a book a long time ago. I came up with the title a couple, a couple of, actually three years ago. A guy I know who's a journalist. He's PR, but he was PR. But yeah, he says, yeah, he needs a title in the first line, and then it's easy to it's easy going after that. I've got the title, but not the first line. I think that's why I felt so guilty all the times I've had girlfriends, and whatnot. The widow's fire, the longing to be intimate, the longing to be held, the longing to be with somebody. And you feel like total crap afterwards. And believe me, I have. I was, when me and my ex-girlfriend first started, I was feeling guilty. A little bit. Not as bad as I had in the past. 
That's why most of my relationships for her were short. Very short. Some of them, a couple of weeks to a month or two, or somewhere in between. My ex-girlfriend's the longest I was in a relationship. And I can tell now, after doing some reading and research, that's, that's what she was feeling was the widow, the widow's fire. There's a lot of things about being a widow and widower that you will not understand no matter how much you read, no matter how much you hear people, until you experience. I hate to say that, but it is the truth. I'm sure a lot of therapists and psychologists have done a lot of research and they think they know everything, but they don't. It's hard to explain feelings. It's hard to describe them sometimes. And until you experience them, you don't know what you're talking about, unfortunately. You know, this weekend all I plan on doing is if I maybe go to that memorial, I really don't know yet. I'm nervous about it, the social part, and the, what it's about. I cry when I see somebody die in a movie. I hate to say that I break down. It does, that affects me bad. Well, everybody, not as long as normal. But I think that about does it for today. We don't have much else to talk about today. Maybe we want to talk about the Widow's Fire. Remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It'll mean a lot. It'll mean a lot to me, and it also means a lot to YouTube and its algorithms. And please subscribe. It means a lot to me and the algorithms in YouTube. The more subscribers I have, the more my videos shown to other people. The more likes I have, the more my videos shown to other people. And ring that little bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I produce something new. Also, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from my community. Well, everybody, it's me, Wayne, again, and y'all have a great day and a better tomorrow, and I'll catch you later. I'm out.